Hello, everyone! Welcome to another... Welcome to... World in Wrestling. Show number two. Or Wednesday in Wrestling. It's... Wednesday, my dude. Wednesday Adams. <laughs> For all those who... Enjoyed and watched... For all those who enjoyed and watched Monday Renex T, the second Renex T of the new year. Earlier this week. store for some exciting wonderful wrestling matches line up for tonight starting things off in a last person standing match Knuckles Grimm versus Private Mini Me but first and foremost as well I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday let's get things started 15 Itchy 414 13 12 11 AO 10 Kimmy 9 Draco 8 effects 7 the random guy Aditya 7 6 Samarins Loudspeaker 215 Final Fantasy Fangirl Creamy 93 Love Sammy 3 Slay Tuba Game Raptor 1 Rin Joker 0 Let's get Ready to rainbow and start the show. As the blue flames light up the arena around the, the stove to cook up all the delicious cup noodles, like the cup noodle on my head. <laughs> Say hello and welcome to another. Wednesday Ren Wrestling, the second WRW of the new year. Well, each and every week here on Monday Night Raw, we make history. Each and every week, we have tremendous action. January 11th, I this week, broadcasting from like Sunrise, Florida. episodes we'll never, ever forget. There will be moments created that will live forever in the annals of history, and we are just moments away so from again. kicking off one of the biggest Raws ever. First match of the night, here we go. Singles match coming up next. The first match up the first match in store for you all tonight. What you were to expect. A last person standing match. Nickels Grimm, the new WRW champion. Taking on the private mini wheat of the trophy hunters, platinum pursuers, private mini wheat. To see who can keep the other down for a ten count. For the second match, we will have tag team action as Team Move I'm Gay, Loudspeaker215, is teaming up with Blind But Blink, Blakey Blink this time. For the Move I'm Gay Alliance. Versus Team Slay, Prima, Slaytaba, Sakura, Slaytaba, Bloody Wrist, Sacrifice, and Vongola Prima. For the third match, we have handicap matches. Team Shiny Shokers, JM, the Rinfrey, JM6268, and Skillshock. We'll be taking on 
Phantom Thief Joker 1994. And then Captain Semi Reskin, the United States Champion, is going to be coming out to do some self, -prom self promo? If you aren't following Twitch.tv Semi Reskin, this is. That will be your opportunity. For the fourth match, we'll have Skinny Ready Lad, Skinny Lad versus Neil Ignacio Blaze. For the fifth match, another handicap match, this time in the women's division, as Kasami loves Sammy 3 Yoshizawa. We'll be taking on Abby Abs Anderson and Eva the Random Girl teaming up in Tornado Tag Action, just like with Fantasy Joker and Team Shiny Shoker. Joker versus Shoker. And then for the main event for the WRW Tag Team Championships in Extreme Rules, the dastardly devious villain. Of Team Blood Goblin, Norman Osborne, Norman Green Goblin Osborne, and Blood Hunter of Bloodborne. Shall be getting a title shot opportunity against myself and my tag team partner, Evan the Random Guy, Team Borgerin. We fought and beat them before. Perhaps we'll beat them again. So I hope you all enjoy. The exciting matches that we'll have in store for the second WRW of tonight for World Win Wrestling. That being said, let's get ready to get things set up as Nichols Grimm and Private Mini Week are getting ready backstage to come out. Next up, we'll see both combatants tested like never before. Make no mistake about it, it's gut check time. We have one of the best talents on the roster today against an imposing adversary. We got Necros Graham versus Private Mini Wheat. Now these two have never fought, I think. Like one on one. Or if anything is very rare. The Necros Grim Grimcubus. The WRW the current WRW champion. Versus Private Mini Wheat of the Trophy Hunters. Platinum Pursuers.
Heretic Mansion for Nichols Grimm. Sister Nancy. Bam Bam Remix. For Private Mini Wii. Pause the music. Okay. Are you ready? I shall start the countdown to get ready for the first match for the second WRW of the new year. 15. Itchy 414. 13. 12. 11 Ayo Tenkemi 9 Draco 8 effects 7 the random guy Aditya 7 6 Samarins Loudspeaker 215 Final Fantasy Fangirl Creamy 93 Love Semi 3 Slay Tuba Game Raptor 1 Rin Joker 0 Let's get ready to Rambo with the first match Coming up Knuckles Grim versus Private Mini Wheat in a last person standing match to see who can KO the other for the 10 count Coming up next only on WRW Making their way to the ring first! The following contest is a last man standing match! Making his way to the ring from the United States of America, weighing in at 300 pounds, the World Ring Wrestling Champion! The World Ring Wrestling Champion, Lord Necros Grimcubus. It was only about, like, last week, Nichols Grimm was able to overcome and escape the cage and defeat Fantasy Joker 994 to become the new WRW champion. Let's see how long Nichols Grimm reign of reign as champion goes after all. And in WRW championship, the championship title can be quite unpredictable. You never know when you can either exchange hands or not. But anyway, oh. So, while I was talking. And his opponent. Here comes the their opponent. Coming out next. Making their way to the ring. Pounds, representing the Plantum Pursuers. The Trophy the Hunter team. Standing match, wouldn't you say? Private. Absolutely cool. Mini weed. As if a hush has fallen over the crowd. Like they know something bad is about to happen. And you know what? They're right. Sing y'all, bum, bum. Who was on to me, come? Really, 
Here we go with this oh, huge last man over. standing match. Primarily the getting things started. The are about to put themselves through with the hope of being the last one standing. It's almost hard to imagine. Taking, this, taking, all right, taking the fight already to Necklesgrim. Private Mini Wing off, to the, off on a lead. Necklesgrim turning and trying to turn around. Private Mini Wing with the flapjack to Necklesgrim on the top rope. Oh, Nichols Grimm turning it around, throwing Private Minnie over the top rope and to the outside. Private Minnie battling this back. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts. Private Minnie throwing Nichols Grimm over. Grabbing home Nichols Grimm. Nichols Grimm breaking free. Private Mini Week trips up the leg of Nichols Grimm. Turning it back in their favor. Nichols Grimm turning yeah, it back around again. finishes the last man standing matches over the years. And perhaps one of the most creative took place at Extreme Rules 2010. Nichols Grimm picking Prime Minnie Wing up, duct tape, but slamming their together. back against the apron of the ring. And picking them up and scoop slamming them down on the Byron, outside mat. The Batista match you mentioned, not only did the animal lose that night, but it was also one of the most embarrassing Nichols Grimm with that brain chop of course it was cold. to the Wouldn't head of Minnie and the backbreaker. Come on. Nichols Grimm sliding back into the ring. Coming back outside. I guess they wanted to do something. This might be it. Oh my. Probably Minnie turning it around. Oh wait, no, Nichols Grimm to be turned it back. Armageddon rules match between the execution and the Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's last man Nichols Grimm tries to go for something, Mini Week stops it. Nichols Grimm stops Mini Week. Mini Week with the belly to back suplex. As Byron was saying, Armageddon Rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's the ref starts last man's to count. match. The difference then, however, Three, was the referee began his 10 count four, only after a superstar pinned his five, opponent for the three count. And on that six, night, as Vince McMahon said on commentary, the executioner was seven, executed by The Undertaker. Eight, Nichols Grimm back up at eight. Mini anyway, comes back outside. Deals the, the quick... Nobody controls the wild wheat kicks right like this guy. To the leg of Nichols Grimm. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Nichols Grimm oh, picking mini wheat over the shoulder. Time. Dropping him down on the steps. Alludes that one. Mini wheat turning around. But now Nichols Grimm says no to that. Nichols Grimm. Starting out, starting back in the ring, coming on. The last man standing match is one of the most Too early as they didn't really take care of Prime Mini Week. WWE. Mini Week uses that as an opportunity to recover. Nichols Grimm grabs the leg of Mini Week. Nichols Grimm lifts Mini Week up over with the two handed chokes. Slam. He might want to rethink his strategy and keep this match in the ring. Guys, you can tell he's drained, but I can't. Mini tries to lift Nichols Grimm, and Nichols Grimm denies it. Too heavy for Mini Week. To win this thing. Oh, what a roundhouse 
Mini Week with the roundhouse kick on Nicholsgram taking him down. How much more punishment needs to be kicked down? And then Just the wheat blitz, the wild wheat arms. Sure That's what he learned from playing a game and playing, playing games like Wild Arms. Mini Week tossing that goes back into the ring. Mini Week with a jumping knee to the face of Necro Grim. And he's heading back in. The ref starts to count. I'm not sure if that's enough to take keep Necrogram down though. But we'll see. Ref's at four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Necrogram once again back up at eight. Perfectly symmetrical number. Comes up big with the reversal. Immediately. Picking Nichols Grimm up over their shoulder. Go the the go the wheat. The go the wheat. The GTW. The go the wheat. That's what I call it. It's not actually the some may think it's the go to sleep that CM Punk does. It's actually the go to eat. No coming back from this incredible beatdown. Nicholas Graham down for seven, eight, nine. Is Nicholas Graham down for the count? I really can't believe what's gone down. So Nicholas Graham down for the count. We mini weights one. This isn't the championship match, but. This is pretty much Private Mini Week sending a message to the champion. Look at these guys getting after it. Is Private Mini Week going after the gold? He is a troll. He is a trophy hunter after all. See the rinse and replay highlights. Well, in a last man staying match, there's not much for some replay highlights, I guess. <laughs> Here is your winner, PBT, the soldier. Private Mini Week getting that victory for the Platinum Pursuer and then the Trophy Hunters. Fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Who's gonna put up a good fight though? It looks like Private Mini League sending a message to the champion. Let's see, hope, hope, let's see how long Knuckles Grimm can hold on to the WRW Championship. There you have it. The winner of the first match for the second WRW of the new year goes to Private Mini Wheat for the Platinum Pursuers Trophy Hunters team. Way to go, Private Mini Wheat. I hope you all enjoyed that first match. Still more to come as we get ready. And get set up. Let's head on over. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. So it's the good girls as a, against the suicide. Super, as the superstars are getting ready in the back, what we got coming up next? Representing Team Alliance, Move I'm Gay, Blind Up Blink, Blinky Blink, teaming up with Loudspeaker Two One Five. Loudspeaker Two One Five, who's Basically, a lovely Big T homie and bisexual.
representing the Rinsane Clown Posse. So in honor of that, we're gonna actually use, and we usually use Lucio and Beat, but because Loudspeaker's here, for their team, we're gonna use the Insane Clown Posse entrance team. Just get ready. Team Slate Prima, Slate Taba. Okay, enter teams are ready. Let's get ready to start the countdown. 15, itchy, 414, 13, 12, 11. Ayo, ten, 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 Kemi. Nine, Draco, eight effects. Seven, the random guy. Aditya, seven. Six, Samorins. Loudspeaker, two, one, five. Who's in the match? Final four, fan Fangirl. Dreamy, ninety-three. Love, Sammy, three. Slay Tuba, who's also in the match. Game Raptor 1. Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to Rainbow with the second match for the second WRW of the new year 2023 as tag team action of Team Move I'm Gay takes on Team Slay Prima. Loudspeaker 215 and Blind But Blink Blinky Blink versus Slay Taba Bloody Wrist Sacrifice and Vongola Prima. Coming up next, only on WRW. Making their way to the ring first, representing the Alliance and team of Team Move I'm Gay. Blind Butt Blink, Blinky Blink Blink, and Loud and Proud, Loudspeaker 215.
opponents slaying down to the ring. Here comes Team Slay Prima. Slay Taba Bloody Wrist Sacrifice. Getting the night started with an amazing match. Current WRW Women's Champion and their tag team partner. I think there's a better way to start this night. Vongola Prima. Blinky Blink and Slay Tava starting things off. Is a lot of times you see Champs dial it back a bit when the title But I don't expect to see that from her Blinky here. Blinky down on the knee. Blinky Blink with the wheel spin kick. Slay Tava trying to fight back. Blinky Blink throwing Slay Tava into the corner. That's Spinebuster off the turnbuckle. After that bounce back. Blinky Blink with the elbow drop. Locking in the arm bar, working on that arm. Picks Slaytaba back up. Slaytaba with the arm drag counter, turning things around. Then with the follow up, the Russian leg sleep. Slaytaba throwing Blinky Blink into their corner. Team Slay Prima. Blinky Blink trying to fight back. Slaytaba in the face. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. She certainly hasn't looked impressive here tonight, guys, but it's still Say early Tawa and turning things around, can fighting turn around back. on a dive here in WWE. Blinky Blink with the kick to the gut, turning it back around in their favor, throwing Slay Tawa to the corner. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that so like Tawa turning it back around, throwing Blink and Blink to their corner. Referees. One referee is in the Tagging in Bongo La Prima. And the other is located out on the floor, making sure One teams follow to the ropes, the rules double, and not engage in potentially damaging behavior. Double throw toss it's over the shoulder. Idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Blink and Blink with the headlock. I mean, not Blink and Blink. Bongo La Prima with the headlock and stretch. Headlock and stretch oh, Blink and Blink. Earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE president second referee Monsoon, probably would help used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed. Oh, Vongo Prima starting the Primo uh, Ring in a spin arena around the ring. Happened. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match, like it, like it, Vongo fighting outside. I don't think it's that much side. to ask. Slamming Blinky Blink's face against the steps. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Rest counting at four. Long roll up with the back mm, nice suplex to Blinky Blink. He doesn't want to get counted out here. Oh, she's gonna get back in that ring then. Bring Blinky Blink back into the ring. Getting back into the ring. Or to get counted out, that's good. Blinky Blink turning it around. Bongola fighting back though. Picking Blinky Blink up over their shoulder for the the Prima Arena spin arena. The spinning Prima. Oh, what a slam. Drop. The Prima Arena. Spin Arena. And then the balling Vongola. To the chest. Elbow Man, drop. She knows how to make a comeback. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. Blinky Blink with the jawbreaker. She's too quick for her. Blinky 
Oh, all of them with the clothesline almost looked like they took off their head. Mongol with the oh. Irish whip into the flying Picture clothesline. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Oh, an elbow drop. Then Mongol with the elbow drop as well. Locking in like their submission move on, working on their arm, and their head scissors applied to the head. And she breaks free. Like it matches the break free. That was impressive. Blinky Blake tags in loudspeaker, loudspeaker in the ring, trying to find where Bongo is. Grabs hold. Loudspeaker throwing Bongo into the corner. Bongo managed to dodge that bullet. Loudspeaker with the clothesline. Bongo three on your feet after something like that. Loudspeaker hammer throwing Vungal Prima into the turnbuckle as their back just bounces off the, the buckle. Vungal managed to kick out off of them, turning things around. Now getting a breather outside on the ringside. Vungal Prima following them. This can go in a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Jumping over and getting out of that grapple. Loudspeaker though grabbing hold of Vungal Prima. Vongolo managed to break free. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop. Vongolo grabs a little loud. Outstanding tag team. Slamming Loud's face against the steps. The that comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus after their thrilling best of seven series. Loud turning things around. He's flirting with a count out here, guys. Come on, hurry up. Get back in there. Oh. Loud is having some difficulty trying to throw Vongol Prima back in the ring. We're at eight. Loud. Trying. Loud manages to get back in. Tagged in. She wants to do this in the ring. Loud tags in Blinky Blink. I think Von Gula managed to get back in just in time because I think they were at nine. She can't fire back from the. I really like the resolve call. we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though I wouldn't be against the tag team, you know, just like so Von Gula. She is on fire. She might have it. Big time slam. Blinky Blink with the blink, the blink on Von Gula Prima. No chance just a few moments ago. Escapes trouble there. Vongola throws Blinkling into the corner. Off the tag. Tagged in slight top of our tag team double. Toss over the shoulder. Oh, Blinky Blink landing the blink statement on Saitama. Big trouble. She's got it now. Tagged in. Blinky Blink was able to tag in loudspeaker. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. She goes for the cover. Loud going for the and pin on Slaytaba. Slaytaba getting that shoulder. Nice kick out. She comes up big with the reversal. Slaytaba turning things around. Tag in. Tagging in Vongola. Loudspeaker with the backbreaker on Vongola back Prima. Breaker. Trying to break Bungle's back. She's starting to sweat a bit. Bungle turning around. Going to let this derail them down. Going for it all here. She better do something fast. Bungle locking in. And she she move. Trying to work mission. on that. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Oh, 
Loud throwing Vongola Prima with sheer hammering force as Vongola's back bounces off the turnbuckle. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter. But only two Vongola Prima fighting back. Loud though with the loud fast press. Into the hair, into the slamming the back of the head down on the mat repeatedly with the back. Once again, slamming their head back of the head against the mat. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Bungle Prima with the leg sleep. Turning it around. Loud returning the favor. Loud got that vicious vice grip the on the shoulder. Our tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. You've got to give these women so much credit. They've really been put through the ringer here tonight. Irish win. Loud speaker throwing Bongola Prima into the corner. No reverses it. Bongola with the boot to the face. Throwing Loud to the corner. Oh, then the flying clothesline. Take it off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. She counters before it's too late. Look Loud with a big headbutt reversal. Oh, Lord, once again, throwing Loud into the corner. This is not where she wants to be. She oh, doesn't want to get out of control, guys. Luckily for her, she can afford to take on a Loud throwing Loud back to the corner. Mongola with the boot to the face. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Loud battling back know. from the ropes. Throwing that Mongola Prima in the corner. We know what this is. It's a stampede. Loud starting the team move on Gaze. Unicorn Rainbow Stampede. The loud and proud stomps and the blinky stomps. It's truly a insane clown posse. Blinky Blink with the drop kick for the finish. Looking at it. Gold for the pin. Hold up the leg. One. Saitama comes in, breaks up the pin, and tangles the ref in one go. She got her with a reversal. Woo! Looking slain for Saitama. Saitama taking the fight to loud. With the sunset slain flip powerbomb off the turnbuckle to his loud, taking out a loudspeaker. Mongol Prima and Blinky Blink fighting on the outside. Back they don't want the ref on count out right now. The ref is out. Bringing the fight back in the ring though. Ref is still out she cold. They haven't, the ref has to show ref a okay. Ref, you can ref the windy, the windy to get them there. Ref, okay, there we go. We're getting, he's getting back up now. She dodges that one. Blinky Blink with the light sleep. Mongola slips out of that. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this call because she just had her seconds away from tapping. Blinky Blink with the cross body. She's in the zone now. All the way up and around the world. Blinky Blink with the with a tilt the world head scissors. What a stop. Blinky Blink throwing Von Gola to the corner with the Blinky Flip follow-up. She goes down hard. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. It's Von Gola Prima back up. Von Gola no, with reversal. the counter into the arm drag. Loud getting back into their corner. The apron. Oh, the Blinky Blink once again with another tilt the world with head scissors. Von Gola trying to fight back, but it can't. Blinky Blink throws it to their corner. Gets the tag. Tagging in loud. Blinky 
Lively trips with the leg. Loud with the elbow drop in the back. Loud taunting to the crowd, getting that momentum up. Long pull of Prima with the arm drag. Oh, loud with the clothesline. Off the, I, off the rope. The clothesline. Take Bongo and Prima down. Bongo picking, trying to fight back. Now turning back around. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other. Now right throwing Bongo and Prima to the corner. Amazing. Throwing Bung loud throwing bungle right into the turnbuckle. She reverses out of it and not a second too soon. With a big oh, loud man. headbutt. Throwing bungle into their corner. Bungle retaliates with the boots to the face. This tag team match then the, the knee man, face buster. That was vicious. That's all she wrote, fellas. Mongola looking to looking to tag Saitama. Saitama back in. Saitama working on that leg. Damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are. Bad battling back. Kick Saitama up and up. Wow, what the speaker, the speaker hurt. Ton. So that sent on the speaker. Irish. Now throwing Slate Tom into the corner. In off the tag. Now tags and blinky blink. So Slate Tom into the ropes. Bottle up with a double, very double suplex toss over the shoulder. Given what they've shown us here tonight, it's a shame that one of these women will have to walk away on the losing end of this one. Blinky Blink turning around, throwing Slaytama into the corner. Trying to go for the drop kick, but Slaytama manages to get out of that. Blinky Blink locking in the Blink statement. Oh, it manages to get out. So Tava turning it around. She shows signs of life. She showed a lot more than that. When she gets an attack mode, look like, out. With the leg drop. And locking in the head scissors on Saitama. Saitama so breaks free. Yeah, but it's gonna just be a matter but Blinky Blink with the drop kick to the knee, going it. for the Nico Nico knees. Dodges a pull there. Saitama like with the arm drag. Avoids trouble there. Saitama so throwing Blinky Blink to their corner, the tag. tagging in Bongola Prima. Throwing Blinky Blink to the rope, double suplex oh, toss over her shoulder to Blinky Blink. She wants to finish this. Bongola calling for it. Bongola Prima is calling for it. She's the beautiful technique. Lands it. That's how you put the an Prima. exclamation point on a match. She goes for the cover. The Prima there. One, two, and a kick out. Unbelievable. Manages to fight back though. Saitama went rolling up to the outside. And then now took care of them. Oh, Golo with the uppercut. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Blinky Blink with a drop kick to the back of Von Prima on the on the He's carrying nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. I 
think she's trying to prove Oh, one with the boot to the face, the blinky blink turning things around. Blinky blink though, retaliates with the her Karana. He's able to get out of the turns that back around with the light sleep. Blinky blink back up. Golden with the elbow to the head. Then the Larian. Yeah, she's gonna be feeling that one for a while. Taking Blinky Blink down. Angola with the headlock and stretch. Look at her go. Saitawa getting back up to the apron. Angola with that jumping elbow drop. Blinky Blink tags in loudspeaker, throws one go to the ropes, trips up the leg, loudspeaker with the elbow drop in the back. Now back in the ring. Battling Bongola. Picks him up. Loud Bongola. Oh, this is not back foot down to that. Pendulum backbreaker. Nasty kick to the Bongola face. Primo with the wow, drop kick to the face. All the way back here. Wow, that should be the final blow. Hold of the legs, oh, Saitama comes two. in to try and you can't help. The type Allow to get the shoulder up. Saitama takes out Blinky Blink. Yeah. Allow throws Vongo a Prima to the corner. To the clothesline. Wow, nice move right there. Taking Vongo a Prima down. She's calling for it. Loud calling for Vongola to get up. She might have it. Picking up up over their shoulders, but no, boy, Vongola gets out of it. Showing some quickness there. Counters. Throws him with the arm drag. Loudspeaker outside the ring. And she turns it around on her. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Now trying to fight back. Referee counting on her fighting outside. A minor miracle now might grabbing be hold. needed to overcome Sliding this Sliding Bongo's face against the barricade. We're looking at complete domination here. Think it's back on the apron. Rest the count at six. Looks like she wants Bongola to beat her throws Lau back in the, the ring. ring. They take the action back in. Looking like desperate for a tag. Need to tag their need to tag their partner and Lau manages to counter. The tag team seen here in WWE is Bongola there. Bongola makes a jumping She's tag to Slaytaba. Does not tag Blinky Blink yet though. Right now. But Blinky. It looks like they don't need it yet. They're getting in now. Slay Tumble with the clothesline. But Lau with the chop. Slay Tumble with the boot to the face. Lau with the backbreaker to Slay Tumble. Tumble with the jailbreaker on Lau. Saitawa throwing Lau into the She's corner. Saitawa setting up with Lau on the, the turnbuckle. Off the top turnbuckle for the superplex to the outside. Over. Loud turning around with the clothesline. Oh, 
big reversal for her there. Slay Tabo with the flatliner or Slayliner. Right As I should probably call it the Slayliner. Too loud. Then the Russian leg sleep. Russ Town is at six. Better get this back in the ring. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be Take a shame if this the ring. count out goal. Almost there. Loud makes Look a out. jumping tag There's to Blinky Blink. Blinky Blink back in the, the ring. Now we're back at the where this match first started. Blinky Blink with that feet. quick sidekick. Swipe, slipping at the head of Saitama. Nice Saitama nice throwing Blinky Blink to the corner. Blinky Blink dodges that. Oh, and delivers a clothesline. And a slap to the face. Saitama with the knee to the gun. Into the stat bear. And the dinner stat bear. Perfectly executed. Saitama picking Blink Blink up. She might have it. Saitama goes for it to twist the sleigh. Loud is out right now. Goes one. Saitama's free for the pin. Blink and Blink though gets the shoulder up. Oh, Loud's back on the apron now. And she turns it around on She's got that. Blink and Blink with that counter. Knee to the face. Some good technique right there. Look at the look Saitama the manages to dodge. She's in the zone now. Blink and Blink's finisher. Throws Blink and Blink into the corner. We know what this is. It's a stampede. Slaytaba is starting the sling stampede for Team Slay Prima. As Slaytaba stomps on Blink and Blink, tagging and bringing in Mongola Prima for some Mongola Prima stomps. And Slaytaba again. Mongola with the drop kick for the finish. Tank back in. She's looking at it. She might have it. Mongola goes over the, the pin. Hold of the legs. Like Tawa trying to deal with Wild. But Blinky Blink gets that shoulder up. Gets out of the way of that one. She counters before it's too late. Blinky Blink with the arm drag turning things around. And the chop to the chest. Looking a little dazed here. Saitama battling loud. Look at herself right now, Cole. You can see the confidence just takes up Blinky Blink. from her right now. Oh, what impact. Saitama throwing loud to the ropes. Oh. Loud on the outside. I'll tell you what, and she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Look at it, Blake. Blinky Blink lands the blunker. The blunker. On Vongola Prima. Going for the cover. One. Blinky Blink going for the pin. Three. Getting the three count. Where was Slaytala? Why was Why didn't Slaytala come to break it up? Was Slaytala dazed and confused? These ladies they were still on the apron. They, another gander. they clearly sold them on the apron. I'm surprised they didn't break it up. Did they not think, did they think Mongol Primo was gonna Man, this was kick great. out? She's taking care of business. Let's see the Rich Replay Highland. That was one intense, exciting match, don't you think? Finally. Almost forgot about Ooh. this one. And last but not least, there was this. Here are your winners. Beautiful Blinky Blink Blink Blind the Blink and Loud and Proud. Loud speaker 215. Put these two together. Victory is really the only plausible outcome. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Once again, Team Move on Game does it again. This time with Loudspeaker on. With the side of Blinky Blink. Blind by Blink, Blinky Blink. 
showing that champion determination. After all, Blinky Blink, Blind But Blink was a former WRW Women's Champion before eventually gone to the hands of Saitama. I hope you all enjoyed that exciting second match. That was pretty intense. Let's all, let's get ready. As in, Pat. Let's get ready, set up, see what, what's gonna happen next for the second WRW, WRW of the new year. As we head on over. See you. Superstars getting ready Coming for the third next, match. Coming up next, the tale all about the odds. Backstage. Get ready for a handicap match. From uh, one of the tag best team match on the to a handicap today. tag match. It's an epic proportion. See if Team Joker, Joker is over. can take on Let's crank it up. Team Shiny Shoker. Joker versus Shoker. Shoker, the Shoker Joker. Or Shoker versus Joker versus Shoker. Seems ready. Is this one? Okay, entry teams are ready. Entry teams are ready. We get ready for the, let's get ready for the countdown, shall we? To start the next match, the third match. 15, Itchy, 414, 13, 12, 11, Ayo, 10 Kimmy, 9, Draco, 8 effects, 7, the random guy, Aditya, 7, 6, Samarins, Loudspeaker, Two one five. Final four to see fangirl. Greenie ninety three. Love semi three. Slay tuba. Game raptor one. Rin Joker zero. Let's get ready to rainbow with the third match. Up next. In handicap, one on two, tornado tag team action. Phantom Thief Joker 994. Can Joker beat the odds of Sh Joker versus Shoker of Team Shiny Shoker JM6268 and Skillshock? 
Let's find out coming up next only on WRW. Making their way to the ring first. Woo! Looking cool, Joker. With this Here it comes. Phantom Thief, Joker, 1994. Of the Den of Thieves and the would be amazing. And now, their opponents, the monster, Team Shiny Hunter, Shoker, and guys, what better way to start the, the Monster Hunting, I can't think Skil shockingly cool Skill Shock, in fact, and their tag team partner, the Shiny yet, Fandung, JM6268, Team Shiny Shoker. With this incredibly one sided handicap Ouch. match. The numbers the game here just the isn't bell rings as the match I mean, gets started. Saxton can see that. Joker trying to fight the. Oh, JM with the running forearm. Still shock with the Boy jumping pack. knee to the face. Joker sweeps the leg. Still shock with the. Inverted DDT into the knee to the back, like a backbreaker. Slam. Then a belly slam. Big forearm smash. He's starting to stagger a bit. He definitely has his work cut out for him here in this hand. Joker game back up. The important thing is. Trying to go for a clothesline. JM slapping. A little bit of damage. Getting slapped by both Skill Shock and JM at the same time. Scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Skill shock with the inverted DDT into the backbreaker knee. He's going for the pin. Easily kicks out of that one. Gonna take more than that. Skill shock tries to go for that pin early. Jam with the elbow drop. Oh my backbreaker! Jam with the backbreaker. Skill shock just taunting to the crowd. Joker tries to go over the clothesline. Go gets it this time with the flying clothesline taking out, managing to take out JM as he stylishly flies right by it. More recently, what's it past the head? But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicapped. Still shot with an elbow to Joker in the corner, putting them on the top turnbuckle. Joker battling back. Pick Skill Shock over the shoulder. Skill Shock slips out of it. Delivers a DDT. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap JM with the leg snap on Joker. say you won the majority of them. Yeah, but I. Skill Shock with the shock chops. This one is over. JM goes for the pin. Team Shiny Shokers managed the best Phantom Thief Joker 1994. I guess that's what makes in a handicap match, match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. Unpredictable or usually predictable. As Team Shiny Shoker, the Shoker was too much for the Joker. Well, you put in the work. Of how long the last match was, it's only fitting that this match was. Shorter. And last but not least.
See the rinse and replay highlights. Joker tried to fight back though. Here are your winners. Good effort. J M S S the Monster Hunter and big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Took the screenshot. You know that match was short. Oh well. Well, I hope you all <laughs> enjoyed and had fun watching it. Let's get ready and head on and move on to. What's up next? For the second WRW of the new year. Ah, oh, yes. Coming up next, Captain Semi Reskins, the United States Champion. Nine wins, two losses. Thanks to, like, after, like, last week when Macho Mr. Green Pay, Greeny Savage, was able to hand Captain Semi Reskins their second loss ever. They've only now they now only have lost twice. Once, first time to Elite Gear, second time to Mr. Green Pay Greeny. I wonder what Captain Semi Reskins is coming out to say. If you all, I mean, if you all know Captain Semi Semi Reskins Semi Rested on Twitch. There were a new streamer that I believe what was the story? They lost a bet and now they're streaming on Twitch. They were recruited into the WRW World Win Wrestling when they their first ever win was against Evan the Random Guy. And as Evan quoted my tainty partner, Cat and Semi Riskins is their protege. That first match was what was also what determined him being Rin United States Champion. And he's been pretty much a strong champion since. He's all, he's always successfully defended his title. So let's see what he has to say. In 15, Itchy, 414, 13, 12, 11, Ayo, Tenkemi. Nine, Draco eight effects. Seven, the random guy. Aditya seven. Six, Samarins. Loudspeaker two one five. Final Fantasy fangirl. Creamy ninety three. Love semi three. Slate tuba. Game Raptor one. Rin Joker zero. Let's get ready to rainbow and see what Captain Semi Reskin Semi Reskin is coming out to say. Up next, only on WRW. Oh wait, what? Is uh is Captain Semi's mic having problems? Oh wait. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what? Wait. Is that Is that who I think it is? Is that I wonder what's on his mind. Macho, Mr. Green Pay, Savage, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be.
The kit man is here. Oh, hold up. What do you think that the WRW Rinverse wants to hear about what you had to say? Because you and I have unfinished business, and I know the WRW Rinverse is anxious to hear all about it. I believe they've heard enough of the tainted words and BS that's spilling out of your mouth. Do I do a good green pay impression? Yo, if you want to have a follow up conversation about what re happened recently, you're off to a fine start, but you know what? Since it's something I also want to talk about. I'm all ears on this one. Let's have a god. Let's have a god. What? What did they say? You can keep running your mouth or whatever ramblings you were doing before I got here? After I leave or not, I don't really care what you do on your own time. But since we're on my time, I'm gonna tell you what I want. What I really, really want. Yo! If you don't seal that pie hole and stop spreading the lies, I'm gonna be forced to seal it for you. You have about three seconds decided how you want to lead this ring. You can walk out, or you can be carried out. It makes no difference to me. Loud and proud. Think about what you did that made me do what I did. Yo, you're just a yappy little dog barking in this cage, aren't you? It might be adorable if it wasn't so darn annoying. Okay, little dog, dog, what's the play here? Are you gonna prove that you're more than just a catchphrase and some underhanded tricks? I'd say your behavior tonight been disappointing, except I already knew that going in. But I'm saying it anyway, because it really is worth further pointing out that is every opportunity you're given, there being nothing but a little brat. Yo, congratulations on tonight for sealing the envelope on being arguably the worst superstar in the WRW. I'm not sure there's anyone on the roster who is lower than you in terms of dignity and respect. The longer you infuse to apologize, the more you bring down the whole locker room. If we're not able to rinse back to each other, then who do we have? We're the ones in this ring every night. We need a certain level of trust. It's time to step up or step out. Now we know what we have in store. Not sure what to say about that, except let's go. There's no doubt that everyone in this capacity arena is behind that statement. Looks partner. like Captain Simon Reskin's had what he got what he wanted to say off his mind. Looks like he won that Mic battle too. Looks like things are getting heated. After all, Captain Sam and Reskins got handed their second loss to by Mr. Green Pay. So of course only natural that Mr. Green Pay came out. Perhaps Mr. Green Pay is gunning for the United States Championship.
see what we'll see get ready for what's coming up next. The first. By the way, in case I don't know if I remember right if now. I took a screenshot or not, but just in case. So coming up next, our fourth match of the night for the second WRW. Coming up next, our very own skinny ready lad, skinny lad versus the one and only Neil Ignacio Blaze. These two have never, these two have never fought each other one on one. Wonder how things will play out. Who do you think are, who are you voting for? Who do you think are gonna win this one? Let me, uh, as I get ready, set up their entrance teams. The Neil's entrance team. I think the Neil give me a favorite song. I'm trying to remember. Wait a minute, I thought I was gonna... Where's this one? I like using this one. For men on the internet. what Neil's interesting was. Before we get started, okay, maybe not there. Did I ever write down this entrance theme for a superstar? Thank you. 
how far back I have to go. Try to see if I edit it. Some of what I use for deals. Interesting way. And maybe if anything, I think all I was using for probably Neil. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use. Use this. This version of Neil. Yeah, let's use Neil from Ruby. Blaze blue like Blaze. Time for the countdown. Fifteen. Itchy. Four fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ale ten chemi. Nine. Draco eight effects. Seven the random guy. Aditya seven. Six Samarins. Loudspeaker 215. Final Fantasy Fangirl. Creamy 93. Love Sammy 3. Slay Tuba. Game Raptor 1. Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to rainbow with the fourth match. For the second WRW of the new year, coming up next, we've got Skinny Rinny Lad, Skinny Lad versus Neil Ignacio Blaze. These are the. This is the first time these two are facing each other. Coming up next, only on WRW. Making their way to the ring first. Making his way to the ring from Australia. It's weighing in. Where's this going? Wait, whoa, what? Platinum Casimir Z, what are you doing? What's Platinum Casimir Z doing here? You'll never see it coming. You'll see. That Casimir Z's mind is too fast for us. You're done. By the time it hits you, your cast surprise. Platinum Casimir Z, the, for the Platinum Pursuers Trophy Hunters. 
They're invading and attacking Skinny Ringlet on their way to the ring. Skinny working on that arm of Kaz. This just turned into a Skinny versus Kazmir Z fight. All of a sudden. He's on the defensive here. We all know Sorry, Neil, not show Blaze. It's like Kazmir Z is taking this is just a little bump in the road one for the here. team. And oh, to worry about. Has some uh, beef with Skinny Mini Lad. Trophy Hunter versus Trophy Hunter? Or Trophy Hunter versus Achievement Hunter? for the weary on to the next time for our handicap match when one side might be outnumbered but they will not the well, skinny really lad was able to best Kazmir Z so Kazmir Z was had a very unsuccessful surprise attack assault on skinny really lad a skinny lad still managed to come out on top Take a screenshot of that. So then, the fourth match didn't actually end up happening. It turned into a rivalry fat fight and ma a rivalry match and fight again. Achievement Hunter versus Trophy Hunter, Skinny Rainy Lad and Kazmir Z. So let's go on to the fifth match, shall we? Is that coming up next? In the handicap tornado tag match. Cause Sammy loves Sammy 3, Yoshizawa taking on Abby Abs Anderson and Eva the Random Girl. Get their entrance teams ready. All right, there we go. Answers teams are ready. Time for the countdown for the fifth match. I don't think anything else. There's probably any other interruptions. Or surprise attacks, perhaps. Time for the countdown. 15. Itchy, 4, 14. 13. 12. 11. Ayo Ten Kemi Nine Draco Eight Effects Seven the Random Guy 
Aditya 7. Six Samarins. Loudspeaker 215. Final Fantasy Fangirl. Creamy 93. Love 73. Who's in this match? Slay Tuba. Game Raptor 1. Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to Rin With the fifth match, handicap one on two tornado tag team match, Kasami, Love 73, Yoshizawa the gymnast, acrobatic superstar taking on both Abby Abs Anderson and Eva the random girl. Coming up next, only on WRW. Making her way to the ring. Making their way to the ring first. The Violet of the Phantom Thieves, Kusami, Love Sammy 3, Yoshizawa. Ladies and gentlemen, our two-on-one handicap match is coming up next. Why do you sound so excited, Cole? You know it's matches like this that cause careers to end prematurely. And let me tell you, that is nothing to be excited about. Abby are both are aren't on an actual official team, so they're probably they'll be coming out separately. Coming out next, they're one of their first opponents. First, from Seattle, Abby, Wolf, Abs Anderson of the Wolf Forces from Seattle, Washington, for some revenge. Coming in with their with a mean golf swing. Big time handicap match coming up next, guys. And unfortunately, I they think got it's the safe abs. to say that somebody's going to get seriously the biceps. hurt here, Cole. You can count on it. And Abby's tag team partner for this match. Rin coming on in Republic. to the ring. Evelyn Evans, dastardly devious sister. Eva, the random girl. Corey, when you're outnumbered like this, what can you possibly do to succeed in a handicap match? In a case like this, it's not necessarily about winning the match. Instead, I think it's more about living to fight another. If you can do that, you've succeeded. Bell rings and the match Big starts. Handicap match underway here. Peace. A handicap Abby match might with the first the opening strikes. Just Sammy with the clothesline to Eva in the corner. Could find themselves in. Abby though with the suplex to Kasami. Rusty. 
Russian leg sweep. Eva with the Russian leg sweep to Kasami. Let the kicks go back and forth and the stomp. Eva with the leg He's drop. Taking on some heat. You better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control quickly. Looks to me like her game plan hit a bit Kasami of a snap. turning here, it around. Guys. She better make a change quickly if she wants to win this handicap match. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Kasami on the turnbuckle, but they managed to turn it around against Kasami. I get Eva. <laughs> Abby don't want the clothesline to Kasami. Great. Abby is the he muscle of this bad way here. handicap match. She doesn't want to let this handicap match get out of control. She's no pushover though, guys. Even if she's going down, Kasami getting a breather outside on the ring, on ringside. To try and fight back. Kasami delivers a neck breaker to Eva. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Eva with a rush and leg sleep. Kasemi dodges under the clothesline from Abby. Uh oh, neck breaker! Well, Eva with a neck breaker from behind to Kasemi. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Abby with the gut wrench suplex. Oh, what a slam. She's looking absolutely Gut wrench slam. Flipping to Sammy like a patty. Oh, that was a close call. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much. Eva tries to go for the pin. To Sammy getting the shoulder up. Axe Double axe handle to the back of Kasami by Abby. Abby going for the, the pin. Cover. I wouldn't have been surprised. Kasami getting the kick wow. out. Oh, that was close. She comes Kasami up big fighting with back. Even with the slap the into the, the backstabber. She's looking at it. Abby locking in the arm bar, working on the arm of Kasani, trying to break their arm. Right, Kasami breaks free. She has renewed life now, Michael. Oh, nasty impact. Evil with the spine buster. Easier said than done, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. Kasami with the German suplex to Kasami. Did I say Abby with the German suplex to Kasami? Eva picks Kasami up over their shoulder. Flapjacks them on, on the top rope. Some good technique right there. Uh -oh, neck breaker. Even with the neck breaker on Kasami. Abby and Kas Eva stomp on Kasami. Abby locks in the dragon sleeper. She better do something fast. Kasami breaks free in the hold. I don't know how. That was locked in pretty good. Eva's turn. She Eva with a dastardly slap to the face. Here she comes on the counter. Tries to pick Those Kasami up for a scoop slam. Around. Kasami Look slips out of it. Eva with the slap oh, and the crossbody. In a powerful takedown. She might not know. Looking for all the glory. Eva here. going for the pin. And the shoulder gets up. Kasami in time. getting with that shoulder up. Done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Kasami with the jawbreaker. Tries to go for the crossbody. Abby Eva interrupts it. it Even now going up on the top turnbuckle. But Abby picking up Kasami. First for a gut wrenching. Slam down hard. Slam. Eva with the body splash off the top turnbuckle, high flying. Eva splash. 
even now throwing Kisemi over the top rope. Abby with the double X and the back of Sammy on the no, ringside. Looks like she wants to beat her inside Throws the ring. Sammy back into the ring. They will come back in. She's got something in mind. She can't take any more of this. To Sammy battling back. We know what's coming here. You got to Even with the Eve the Eve of the feet it. making because Sammy takes the end of their boot. Look at her go. Harsh impact. Happy with those punches. Eva going for the pin on Kasemi. True testament to Grant. Very admirable performance here, but you have to wonder if she's risking permanent injury. She counters before it's too Sammy with the counter. Trying to battle back. It's the tough Even though with the punch in behind. In for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. Eva dropping Kasemi down on the top rope. Once again, Abby handling Kasemi with the gut wrench. Gut wrench Flip suplex. slam. Gut wrench easy. suplex. Kasemi managed to get free. Kasemi really showing determination here. She's starting to feel it. She certainly has her hands full here on this handicap match. Delivers I that. A lot of people assumed she was going to pick up an easy win here tonight, but that Kasemi doesn't Peter. seem to be the case right now. Justice. Not again. Takes out Abby. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand, right? Kasemi now battling against Eva. Evil with the crossbody. Down she goes. And she might just stay down there this time. Uh -oh. Oh. Oof. That's not arm against the mat. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Head crank by Abby on Kasami. Kasami with the jawbreaker to Abby. There's some reason to be concerned here. You better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control. Abby, though, with the arm drag. Yeah, but I doubt this is her undoing. She still seems to have plenty of fight left in her. She is on fire. Oh, boy. Eva grabbing not hold of Kasami. Oh, throws them over the top not rope. And not again. A third time. Abby, We've seen some go pretty outside. lopsided handicap matches over the years. That stands out in my mind. Throws oh, Kasemi back into the ring. Encounter that saw John Cena take on six members of the Nexus. Eva on the top, turnbuckle, waiting for Abby to That's be done with Kasemi before they can strike. Abby with the head crank. That six on one match Byron brought up earlier actually took a Kasemi with a jawbreaker counter. Remember, it was originally supposed to be seven on him. Eva tries to go for the cross body splash, does not soon. hit. Well, it well, misses as well, Abby with the fireman's well, carry of Kasemi. Sammy tries to battle back, goes with a drop kick, does not hit the mark. And she turns it around on her. Evil with a drop kick from behind. She might have it. Oh, Abby locking in the German suplex combo. One, two, three German suplexes. That's called establishing dominance. That should do. Eva going for the pin. Kasemi getting that shoulder up. We're seeing here. Abby with the and she's knee to with the her face. Now. She's licking her chops. Abby calling for it. Eva's no also trying it. to get the fight in. Gets that wheel spin kick. Abby with a snap suplex. This is it. Oh, Eva starting the the random 
A random swing around the ring. Swinging Kasami around. Letting him go. She goes for the cover. Abby going for the pin. Abby getting the pin over Kasami. What a win. Though not before Kasami was able to Kasami was able to put up a good fight. Well, the numbers don't always tell the story in a handicap match. Here's another look. Almost thought that Kasami was gonna win. I see the rich That's a woman it. on a mission. Kasami really did her best to try and battle back. Look at her go. It's a woman on a mission. And finally, There you have it though, here are your winners of the fifth match, going to Abby, Ab Anderson, and Eva the Random Girl teaming up. These girls knew what they were getting themselves into. Wow, do you think Austin liked this match? This crowd is absolutely bonkers. Hope you all enjoyed the fifth match. Kasami did a put a, GG's and good effort by Kasami as they put up one heck of a fight in that handicap match against Abby and, and Eva the Random Girl. But in the end, it is a, it is tough to win a handicap match. Hope you all enjoyed that as we get ready to move on and head on into what we have coming up next. Which is the main event for the WRW Tag Team Championships. They were defended during the last WRW of 2022 getting defended again for the second WRW against Team Blood Goblin, the devious and dastardly villains of Worldwind Wrestling, the Blood Hunter of Bloodborne, and their tag team partner Norman Green Goblin Osborne. Here we have it, Ever as me and my tag team partner, Evan the Random Guy, are getting ready backstage to defend our titles, as well as Bloodhunter and Green Gum and getting ready to come out. It's getting entrance names.
Okay. Entrance teams are ready. And that Okay. And your teams are ready to go. Time for the countdown for the main event. Fifteen. Itchy. Four fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ao ten Kemi. Nine. Draco eight effects. Seven the random guy. My tag team partner. A ditch of seven. Six Samarins. Myself. Also in the match. Loudspeaker two one five. Final four to see Fangirl. Greamy ninety three. Love Sammy three. Slay Tuba. Game Raptor 1, Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to Rinbow with the main event. Final match of the second WRW of the new year. For the WRW World Rin Wrestling Tag Team Championship in Extreme Rules. Team Blood Goblin Villains, Blood Hunter, and Green Goblin versus. Team Borgerin, myself, Rin, the GM, and Evan, the random guy, the Borger, coming up next, only on WRW. Making their way to the, making their dastardly, devious way to the ring first. The villains of the WRW. From the depths, deeps, hunting for blood in Yarnum, the Bloodborne Blood Hunter, and Norman Green Goblin Osborne. Our way to the ring to defend our titles and championship. For all the borgers, say hello and welcome to 
one of the best tag teams in whirlwind wrestling team borger wins this one promises to be absolutely yours amazing. truly but as they say, and evan the random broken, guy so in this case i think we're safe We successfully defended our titles before. We'll do it, definitely do it again. Green Osborne, Hunter the Beastmaster, on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 707 pounds. Green Osborne and Hunter the Beastmaster. Green Osborne, Hunter the Beastmaster, and their opponents at a combined weight of 284 pounds. We are the, the World Rin Wrestling Tag Team Champions, two-time, two-time WRW Tag Team Champions too. Myself and Evan, the random guy. Get your butts in those seats and get ready. As the bell rings and the match starts, like, ah! Oh, looks like I'm taking the fight to Green Goblin. Oh, uh, uh, Goblin, uh, a uh, Goblin, uh, trying, I'm coming, trying to bring you somewhere. Oh, let me drop kick you to the leg. Here, have a hero, Corona. I've been fighting Blood Hunter. I wonder, Blood Hunter, not just hunts for blood, but do they hunt for borders too? Take that, Goblin. Take that. And a stomp. Beautiful Evan with the <laughs> take Man, that, like that nice the takedown of Bloodhunter. Oh my goodness, crushing it! The challenger's taking on some offense. Me with the snapmare, take that goblin. Evan with the suplex to Bloodhunter. Too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Ah! Oh no! Goblin about the power bomb. Oh, thank you, Evan. Thank you. Uh oh, Goblin with the Oklahoma slam to Evan. Can I come in with the clothesline? Oh, no, Blood Hunter with the Kindle stick, hitting Evan in the back with the Kindle stick. That's one of the weapons he uses, in, like the transformation weapon to Bloodborne. Let me go for the pin on Green Goblin. Goblin getting the shoulder up. Oh, Bloodhunter getting another weapon from Bloodborne. The dastardly baseball bat. I wonder how, if that's got any blood gems on it. Whoa, what? It just doesn't seem to be his night tonight, guys. There's no way to sugarcoat this one. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now. So agile. Gets out of the way. Ah! Oh, it happened. Double went out. That bat was too powerful. Oh boy, he is good. The challenger not looking good right now. Looks like I'm now fighting Blood Hunter. The switch partner. Double with the gets belly to black suplex my tag team partner Evan. Oh no, Blood Hunter, what are you doing? No, let me get out of that. No, let me turn it around. To a rinstone pile driver. Blood Hunter on the outside. Evan with that border to border suplex. This might be it. Oh my. Dodges a bullet there. 
trying to leg snap. Oh no, got him! Close right over the top rope! Ah. Heaven with the jailbreaker. Oh. Uh. Oh no, Bloodhunter's coming over to me. Take that, Bloodhunter. Ow! Ow, my face! Ah, the ah, not the steps. Ah. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, Heaven with the, the Godbuster to Goblin. I'll distract yeah, Bloodhunter. Really you plow the field with face. Goblin's face with that running knee. Evan. Oh, Goblin gave the shoulder up though. How about the Rinmaker? He didn't see that one coming. Here he goes. Monkey flip over over you, Goblin. And the Enzigiri. Rinzigiri. Now there's the reversal. Ow! There I go. Beautiful technique. And then throwing blood in the corner. Close line Larry in the back. I think I felt the ground shake on that one. Evan with the clothesline. I'm not sure how much he has left. Nice kick, great elevation. I knew it was only a matter of time. And she Goblin with the Goblin so Gore on the Evan. Body. Just when you thought he had nothing. Shoulders down. Goblin trying to go for the pin. I'm near to break it up. Oh. Not now. Oh. Not now. Oh, no. Uh, no that. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. Ah, my leg! Ah! Bloodhunter's looking for another weapon from Bloodborne underneath the ring. Oh, a second Kindle stick. Oh, Bloodhunter with the Kindle stick to the gut of Evan. So Bloodhunter's really needing blood right now. They're bleeding. He might need to drink a blood pile. Oh, no! Goblin setting up with Evan with that the, with the Goblin hammer. Oh, wait. No, Evan. Break free. Evan with the... The takedown on Goblin. Me with a drop kick. Take that, Blood Hunter. Oh, ow. Off the springboard. Oh, wait. That's not going ah. What was I think? He got him good. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Oh. There Evan with the knee wow. and clothesline. I'm Bloodhunter. Go Evan. Two. Oh no, Bloodhunter getting the Might shoulder up. There, ah! Ah! I was distracted. Got me, got me. No, wait. Place. Never mind, you're not choking at me. Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Slip out of that. He's Take that drop kick instead, Dom. And that one drops him. Heaven with Somebody's the clothesline. Take time. down to Blood Hunter. Yes. He can take down here. Goblin. All right, Goblin, get up. I'm calling for you. You get up. Wow. So I can hit you with the. This could the be. The Maker. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Ah, I've been thinking out. Evan, no, you're on your own. Oh no, Blood Hunter setting oh up with a Bloodstone Pile Driver. This is not good. This, is, this is not looking good. Here's the oh, my head. No. Oh no. The championship titles change hands. It's a dark day for the WRW World in Wrestling. Villains have. The villainous team of Blood Goblins have around. now become the new WRW Tag Team Champions. He's getting it done here. Truly a dark day. He's getting after it here.
He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here are your winners. Here are your and winners. The new and the new World Tag Team Action Devious and Dark and Hunter the Beastmaster. Villainous. Nice teamwork. By these two World Ring Wrestling tag WRW Tag Team Champions. These two guys are legit. Wow, do you think Austin likes Team this Blood Goblin, this the Blood Hunter, bonkers. and Green Goblin become the new World Ring Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I couldn't, I can't believe it. Me and Evan lost. The villains got the better of us this time. A new team has acquired the WRW Tag Team Champions. Ship titles. Well. That basically wraps up. The WRW. The second WRW of the new year. Congratulations, GG's, to all those that won. To Private Mini Week for winning your first match. Well, not your first match. Not the first time. Private Mini Week's won before. I meant for, to Private Mini Week for winning the first match against Neko's Grimm. Coming out on top against Neko's Grimm. Sending a message to the champion. Neko's Private Mini Week is probably gunning for that World Ring Wrestling Championship as well. Watch out, Neko's Grimm. GG's to once again to Team Move I'm Gay. Blinky Blink, Blind Bump Blink. And Loudspeaker215 getting the victory over Team Slate Primo. Though after quite the nice top, nicely fought match between both teams. GG to Fantasy Joker for the good effort in trying. Best of luck next time. Or hopefully if you can get a tag team partner so you're not just getting taken out taken on by with a handicap tag match by Team Shiny Shoker. The joke the Shoker was better than the Joker. To uh future rivalry of Captain Semi Reskins and Macho Mr. Green Pay Greeny Savage? Perhaps Green Pay going for the United States Championship title? Perhaps To the fact that we didn't actually get to ha get to see Skinny Rainy Lad face Neil Ignacio Blaze because Platinum Casimir Z made a surprise. You'll never see it coming. Assault attacking Skinny Rainy Lad on the way to the ring. Though Skinny Rainy Lad was able to win that fight. Good effort in GG to Kasami Love 73 Yoshizawa for trying your best at fighting off against both Abby Abs Anderson and Eve the Random Girl. It was quite tough, but they did their best. And finally, G a dark day in World Run Wrestling history now as the villains, Team Blood Goblin, the Blood Hunter, and Green Goblin are our new WRW World Run Wrestling Tag Team Champions. A new team has acquired the titles. Let's see how long their reign of terror on WRW and World Run Wrestling as champions last. I hope you all enjoyed all the matches and the show. This was your owner, GM, no longer WRW Tag Team Champion, Rin Okumura. Morgan Noctis, Yusuke, signing off the announce table and the commentary. Wishing you all a wonderful rest of your Wednesday night. And see you all next week for more 
whirlwind wrestling action for Rinex for the next for the third week of Rin XD. Once we get closer and closer to that Royal Rainbow pay-per-view main event. Till then, see you all. For next show, Rin XD. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye. Remember me. Actually, wait. I changed your port. Let me pull it up. I hope I'm okay to sing it. It's just karaoke. Remember me Though I have to say goodbye Remember me Don't let it make you cry For even if I'm far away I hold you in my heart I sing a secret song to you Each night we are apart Remember me Though I have to travel far, remember me. Each time you hear a sad guitar, know that I'm with you. The only way that I can be through Twitch and YouTube until you're in my streams again. Remember. Until next YouTube broadcast slash or Twitch stream. Of course, I've been catching up on art. An art backlog. So whatever that would be. That would be. Thank you all so much for watching. I mean, that beautiful thing about YouTube, about World Run Wrestling channels being on YouTube is that you can watch any time throughout the week. And I won't post the match results until the next show, Monday. So until then, once again, have a wonderful It's Wednesday Adams, my dudes, night. To you all, take care. And adieu.